Yeah, Miss Staley, can you hear me? Yeah, I thought you were done talking to me. That's correct, ma'am. We already sent your documentations to your local law enforcement, okay? Like, they might call you, and they might come at your doorsteps, okay? So you better talk to them, all right? One more thing, you need to hire a lawyer for yourself, okay? A federal attorney for yourself. Well, that guy on the top, the guy, the, the guy from the Orlando police, um, I didn't get his name or his bad num number, already called me. So I'd be waiting for another call from him. No, like, they will be, they're just setting a team to send at your, to come at your doorsteps, man. So they might call you as soon as possible, okay? You hire a lawyer for yourself, okay? I'm sorry, I cannot help you at this point of time. This is really screwed up for a country where I'm innocent until proven guilty, and you said I was innocent, and now you're sick in the police. No. Me. No, no, no. I never said that you're innocent. I, I you said I was a victim of identity you. theft. You said that. You said that it I wasn't the culprit. It has not been proven, okay? And I'm not going to yell with you. You don't have trust with us? Don't trust us. I'm not forcing you or convincing you. Talk to your local law enforcement. They might call you, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I'll wait for their call. Um, <coughs> excuse me. For frame of reference, I had got a I had a ten minute call recorded. He had already had some idiot call me from a Washington D.C. phone number claiming to be Officer Kevin, no last name, no badge number. That was going to that wanted to got the information or faxes. I don't even know, it's like, who uses faxes anymore? But got a fax that they were supposed to come and arrest me, and I said I wanted to call my bank, and he said, go ahead and call your bank. I tried to call Bank of America just to see this is the fake bank. Of course, I don't bank with them. And, of course, they're closed, so I called him up, and, well, I guess he's done. Maybe he really is done. I don't know if, he, I don't know if he's trying to scare me. I mean, he called, and I didn't pick up. So then I called him back and like, what do you want? And it's like, oh, yeah, you're going to go to jail. I guess it's their last ditch effort because trying to make me feel bad because it's not going to get him anything. Oh, dear. I'll pause the video for just a minute and see if officer from the Orlando police calls back. Or maybe I'll call that officer real quick. Let's do that. Hello. Um, yeah. Um, Hi, this is Kevin. Yeah, from the Orlando Police. I didn't get your last name or your badge number, sir. Could I get that? Yeah, my last name is Hughes, H-U-S-E. My badge number is R-A-C-4201. Four, 4201? Correct. Right. Now, I would like to know, like, do you have an attorney? I can get one. Okay, you need to get one. Because here it seems that it's an identity type case where you have not been proven yet, neither guilty. You haven't found guilty, but also not proven yet. Okay, yes, time out. A time one. out. We talked before that I don't know what college you took before you were a police officer, but isn't isn't until proven guilty? Isn't that isn't that how it works? Now look, this identity was used on your name. That is your identity. You will be the responsible one if anything goes wrong, anything happens. You will be the one who will be called or you will be called up for with this. Because if someone is using your information, it will be known as you. Financially, you're responsible, yes. That's what Experian told me when I signed up for credit monitoring. But I've never heard of anybody using, you know for, you know, somebody's identity for money laundering and whatever else, drugs or whatever it else they were doing, I don't know anymore. Yeah, you don't know, but someone is using your name and all. So the government will not know who is doing this. There might be a group of members who is involved in this too, or just people could be very close to you who already have all of your information. So right now, you are being a prime suspect of this case. But as soon as it will be proven, if you're found guilty, you know what's going to happen next. If you're found innocent, then that is good. You don't have to pay anything to anybody. But right now, the money which you are having in your account and all will be seized by the government. 
everything, whatever you have got it. Well, they can't do it right now because the bank is closed. I can't even get a hold of that. The bank is closed, but it will be rate flagged. Government going to demand for this, and they will rate flag your account. You won't be able to have any access of your account. I'll be down there before when they open, and I'll get every single penny out before you can touch it. Or whoever it is is going to touch it. I don't know. It's up to you what you will really do it, but yes, you will be taken down for the interrogations, and also some team will be coming after your house. And when was this going to happen? That they're going to come to my like house? Today, so. um, today? We're for the today. Today. Yes, today. You know it's almost five o'clock, right? Yeah. So we are dealing with this. Not today. And tomorrow morning they will be there to get this. All right. Well, I won't be here. I'll be at Bank of America as soon as they unlock the doors to get my money out. But that can be done electronically. It's not that they, that anyone have to go physically at the bank. It can be done online. We just need to put a drop in the uh, Bank of America to freeze your account, and the auto will be. But you're with the Orlando Police. You're with the Orlando Police. I thought the FTC was doing this. You're my local government. You're not, the, you're not the federal government. But the federal government is involved in this. They have demanded for your arrest for it. They have demanded for this. And we're just passing out the permissions and all so that we can forward this immediately. All right. Well, when are you going to... Can you, ver can you verify my address to make sure you come to the right house? Yeah, we will do that. We'll find it by ourselves. So you better call them, call the FTC, and ask them, okay, that what you need to do next. Go with them. He said, not he said he's not talking to me. He said he's not talking to me anymore, so I guess I just have to get a good night's sleep and be at Bank of America first thing in the morning because he said he's not talking to me anymore. He said to talk to you, and apparently you want to arrest me, so okay. we'll go from there. Okay, but I'll do it. Let him know to call you now, okay? And just discuss about this, what you really want to do. If you want to rectify this matter, rectify it as soon as possible. If you want us to send the cops at your house, we'll send the cops. Well, he said he wasn't talking to me, so I guess I'm going to stalemate. He will call you now. He will call you now. If he say so. Thank you, bye. Wow. Unbelievable bullshit. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Okay, this is this is crazy. They're trying to scare me. They're trying to salvage this scam. <sighs> they really are trying to salvage this. I can't believe it. <coughs> well, excuse me for coughing. He said that he's going to be calling me back. Okay, dude. At least I got a last name and a badge number. Did you like that when I put in there? It's like, what's my address? Oh, don't worry. We'll find you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was pretty sure they never got an address. All right, dude, I'm waiting for you to call. Are you going to call? I'll hit pause for a second. Actually, I'm going to upload this real quick and I'm going to let him I'm going to let him sweat bullets for a little bit. I'll I'll just I won't answer the phone for a few times. See what happens. <laughs> 